In this week's problem, two math classes have taken the same test. And we know that the average for one class was 90. The average for the other class was 80. The first class had 20 students. The average of the classes combined was 84. So the one thing we don't know, how many students were in the second class? And we're going to find that out. Well, when averages are concerned, while it's unlikely that all the scores would be the same, we know that if the average is 90, then the total of all the scores added up is the number of scores times 90 shown here for the first class, 20 times 90. So the other class that had an average of 80 would be 80 times the number of students in that class. We're going to call that n because we don't know that number yet. And then if you've had algebra, you'd know you could add the total for the first class plus the total for the second class divided by the total number of students in the two combined and get 84. Solve this simple equation shown here. and You've got the answer to this week's problem. And if you haven't had an algebra class yet, probably the best way would be to pick a number and plug it in and get your calculator out and see if it works. So let's try 20. Let's pretend that both classes had the same number of students. Do the arithmetic, and if that is the case, the average would have been 85. So we're close, but we're not quite there. So for the average to go down from 85 to 84, the class that had the lower average would have to have more students. So let's try a higher number than 20, say 30. And as you can see, the arithmetic shown here, 30 would produce the answer we're looking for. So while you might not have gotten it on your first or second guess, with a calculator, you would have gotten it. The answer to this week's problem of the week, 30.